rolling. Sick. We got to do a quick clap. Oh, yeah. This I was part of the up thing the audio. Do, uh, if you want to help us out, Paul. I got you. On the all right. One, two, three. Oh, uh, one more. <laughs> That's all off. Just one more. <laughs> all right. One, two, three. There we go. All right. We got that it. Clap is well, gonna, that it's clap somewhere gonna, in there. Dude. We'll, we'll figure it out. It's going to break your editing software. There's yeah. three different clouds. <laughs> <laughs> We're back, scumbagger scoundrel. Yeah, We're back. Season two, man. This is when was the last time we did an episode? This uh, is that's like a couple years now. We did it in January, I think, of 2021, or maybe December yeah. of 2020. That's a while ago. We did one with a guy, and uh, I fucked up, dude. I uh, it didn't record. Uh, remember? Yeah, and that's yeah, when we were yeah. like, you know what? To hell with this. And was it a good episode? It was. No, dude. I I remember. I had a funny moment in there. Yeah. I said something. I can't remember. Yeah. Maybe it's good. It's gone. Dude. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that that one's gone. I uh, yeah, man. It's been a while, and I, I've had so many like just buddies reach out to me and just be like, because like they still listen to the old episodes and like, man, you gotta like get it going again. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, what the fuck am I like? We should. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Always, it's a fun yeah. thing to have. It's a fun little thing to do. Like, and uh, and obviously, it's awesome to have like fucking hilarious comedians come on. Like, I'm really pumped to have you as our first episode back, man. Like, Thank obviously, you. I've seen you all throughout the city. Your comedy is hilarious. Thank you, uh, Mr. Paul Thompson. Um, are you are you signed anywhere? Or are you? Uh, yeah, I have like an agent. And stuff yeah, like yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I was gonna say that'd be crazy not to. Um, do you do much touring outside of Canada? Or are you just like not at the moment? I yeah. haven't been outside of Canada. And like, because I feel like your style would crush in New York. Like, that, yeah, you know, I want to. I have friends that are doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, in New yeah, York yeah. and stuff. So I definitely want to go down there and do that more. But uh, yeah, just like tour around. Uh, around canada i went to la for a week once yeah and did a nice. couple shows there but that that was it but yeah I'm, I'm really trying to push to go to new york for sure yeah i mean that's it's a it's a great city to be in for comedy especially mm-hmm. for yeah especially. have you gone before no man but uh eddie has i okay. think no i've been to new york I've been, i went to nashville oh you went to nashville oh, okay. but you have you have a big heart on for new york that's what i got is. a heart on for new yeah, york yeah, i went yeah. when i was a kid and it just it was the coolest place in the world Sick, man. Yeah. and i probably only went to uh the real like tourist areas because I was with my parents. Sure. Right. So sure. I didn't see anything cool, but the yeah, M&M wanna... store was awesome. I can't yeah, wait yeah. to check that shit out. I'm sorry, the what? The, the M&M, M&M store. Like dude. the fucking wrapper or the candy? The candy. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> listen to rap. <laughs> You're nuts. I was like, Slim Shade, he's got a store in, York, in Times it? Square. <laughs> expensive real estate and it's just a bunch of M&M posters. Like, how is this open? <laughs> check out the six Slim Shady coaster yeah. I got. Dude. <laughs> you can't convince me that this isn't being laundered right now. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, in Nashville, they have, uh, you know, my boy Kid Rock's got a bar down yeah. there. You yeah. You go in that store. I've been yeah. there. Hell no, yeah. for sure. Oh, it's got three sick. floors, right? Yeah. yeah. It's fucking amazing. Three floors for rack, rap, rock, and, and fucking country. country dude. Yeah. <laughs> All mixed together, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. No, it's it's amazing. Nashville's fucking the best. Well, it I, is pretty cool. I love it there. I guess, so is he, because like, obviously he just did that, that comedy jam or whatever is he gonna start making that like is he gonna turn his bar into like a comedy area or is he no i think that was just a thing and he did that at his bar i I think he did it at a theater or something in nashville and then they went back to his bar and they did in nashville or new york nashville nashville and then they went back and did i think a bunch of comics did comedy at the bar or maybe they just did karaoke there yeah, or something yeah. fuck yeah kid rock's sick i love kid rock. <laughs> old school man true patriot yeah. i mean i mean man. his new music is so fucking funny man yeah i, I can't there's stop. some really good videos <laughs> <and stuff laughs> hey, nobody gonna tell me how to live yeah dude yeah, hamilton's own uh hamilton's so own good. monster truck I'm yeah, that's sure right. That's that, that's dude. who does it. Yeah, because yeah, that's right. Hamilton's own monster. They're a bit, monster trucks. The band. Yeah, that, that's he, that, that does that. it with Kid Rock. That song. Right. Was, uh, and they're I from the they, Hammer. I didn't know they were from the Hammer. That's fucking yeah. dope. That guy still can rap so much faster than anybody I know. <laughs> Kid Rock's nuts. so talented. Yeah, he is pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, his his new music. I definitely am not. I think it's kind of bad. But if you put on, old but school hilarious. Music, it's so funny. That's exactly. I love it. that. It's one of those things that I can listen to all day because it gives me a good chuckle. But like, yeah. like But like his old school shit actually gets you. Oh, you for like, sure. Yeah. Ba with the ba. Oh yeah. Yeah. The dude, build you up on that, that is huge. Yeah, if shit. you hear that synth and then the slow roll of ba with the ba, dude. Bang. You're yeah. amped up, man. My name is... And just, <laughs> yeah. It's so sick. Yeah, he is pretty sweet. That that whole, like... Man, that whole, like... 
that whole era of like rap rock I fucking love yeah, yeah you got a real Fred Bur- yeah, yeah, yeah. I love dude I love Biscuit so much like unironically I can listen to Biscuit all day like all my buddies make fun of it but I'm like no like they actually slap like, yeah obviously Fred sure. Durst has nothing to say lyrically but who cares like that's the point of listening to Biscuit why are that I don't know if they're saying this to backtrack but I, like I thought Limp Biscuit was a like, kind of like a parody the whole time was the idea I I well, I see. I don't know if they were. I think he took him. That's why I really liked his new album because it was a self-aware. I'm making fun of myself now. Album. Right. I'm not sure if that's how we saw it when they first started. But yeah, I, with I like could, my I way. And, yeah, yeah, like because they because my understanding was they started because uh, he was like a huge Raging Against the Machine fan. He's okay. Like fucking yeah. amped on them, and obviously Raging Against the Machine heard their music and didn't like him. Yeah. And there was like a whole real heartbreaking moment where they told him that they didn't like him and his like you could see like a single tear drop from his eye. So I was like, what the fuck is TMZ doing? You're just bullying this kid. Don't don't tell him that. Yeah, TMZ yeah. like waited for yeah, they for waited for Mr. Durst to, like, to come hey, out. Hey man, Tim Comfort's bass is fucking hates you and he's like, "Oh man, he's just a bully, man." And well, I, I love like, their music. Yeah, man. I still love their music. They inspired me. <laughs> but man, when that new album came out, like I literally put it on the car, listened to it front to back. I was done. They did like cuz you know how like in like old school like even like like, you know, Dre's The Chronic, where they almost, like, slip in sketch comedy inside yep. of the albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started doing that in the new album, which okay, I really had. Yeah, I got yeah. a kick out of And there was, like, two or three songs in there that I was actually like, oh, this goes pretty hard. Like, I most kinda, of them... Yeah, I kind of like it better when they, they don't make those separate tracks. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, when the 100%. skit's just, like, a little bit at the end, and then we yeah. go into the next song. Yeah, I like yeah it's like the payoff time. that you, like, you listen to, and you're like, all right, that's the song, and then there's, like, a little little funny in there that you're like, Sure. Yeah. yeah. And it's there for if you're listening to the album from front to back. So exactly. You can do that. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar does that, too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even in know. So most of his albums, yeah, he'll have little... Well, it's, like, not even, like, as if they're skits to be, like, funny. Some of them are funny, but, like, especially his first album, The mm-hmm. Good Kid, Mad City... Is like at the end of every track, there will usually be like a little skit, and it's just like it tells a really cool story. Interesting. Yeah, I, I never really gave him much of a chance. Like I'm just such like an old school grumpy dude that goes. Ugh, anything yeah. No, Ken- Kendrick's like, Kendrick's like for that guy. Yeah. Because I'm like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, yeah, like old school and this and that. Kendrick's flow. Kendrick's the answer to that. Okay. You know, it's maybe not even old school flow. Like his flow is really, but it's like super skillful it's not mm. mumble rap mm-hmm, his mm-hmm. lyrics all say something sure you sure. know he's from compton and doesn't brag about being a gangster <laughs> yeah, like everything, yeah, yeah everything that like you know hip-hop needed you yeah know? for sure yeah maybe i should give him more of a chance again like i just kind of turned my ears off to everything that was more modern but yeah there's obviously going to be some it's inevitable statistically inevitable that there's going to be some real talent that comes yeah out as well, for so. sure well, dude, yeah, Isaac's stuck on the old classics like Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Kid like, Rock. The, you the guys who were Smith really biscuit. saying something. The Detroit boys. <laughs> Fred Durst. Yeah, yeah. Isaac's, uh, <laughs> Isaac's favorite rap battle of all time is, uh, is what is it, Fred Durst and Korn? Oh, dude, that is the fucking funniest song. If you haven't heard it, it is the funniest <laughs> song in the world. They have so, a rap battle, like an actual yeah, rap battle? Yeah, man, but obviously with Korn, the, the, like, he, he, can't, yeah. rap, yeah. he can't rap. He has no flow. Like, at least Fred Durst, he had the ability to, like, make it sound like he knew how to rap. Right. Korn doesn't. So they have this rap battle. I think it was on, uh, I listen. I remember listening to it as a kid, and I loved it as a kid. Now it's just, it's just it. a track. Like, it's there's a not track. a video. It's called All in the Family. There's no video. It's the funniest fucking song. It's so bad. That's I amazing. used to think it was the coolest thing as a kid because I didn't listen to real rap yet. Like, I didn't discover Biggie right. and shit until I got older. I had, like, the corny white boy rap. Right, right, right. And then, uh, and then uh, yeah, so they have this rap battle, and it's fucking insane. It's so bad. John Davis has no flow whatsoever. They just call each other gay and say that they're going to fuck each other's uncles and grandpas and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, and man. that they're going to butt oh, fuck man. each other. It was, like, the funniest thing in the world. And I was like, this is, like... Either it's a pure lack of self awareness or the greatest bit ever done. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. It's one of those things that you listen to. I was like, I don't know. Do they know what they're doing? Like, that's part of this, like, unreal. Yeah, yeah man. The, when the corn guy raps too, it's not like he's throwing down bars. He he still is doing the corn thing. So he's yeah. like, and I'm going to be the best MC in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's <laughs> got no weird. <laughs> what the fuck you saying? I'm a da 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 limp dick. Fred Durst needs to reverse. Like it's like it's so fucking chopped. <laughs> And bad, like at least when Fred Durst gets going, he's got like a little bit of a smooth flow. But I'm like, every time that's amazing, dude. I, I can't, I can't tell people to listen to that song enough. I promise you, you will think it's the funniest thing in the world. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I immediately. Like, it's uh, so good. The ending's good too. When uh, and I'll butt fuck you. Yeah, the guy <laughs> he's like going. throwing it in that like corn new metal thing. It's that's like, incredible. Yeah, really dude, pushing so the boundaries of music. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I bought that album, obviously as a kid, back in the era of CDs, and I was like, because I was a huge corn kid. I love new metal and shit like that, and uh, that song came on, and I was like, yeah, it's fucking 
this. Yeah, you're so like, yeah. I was like showing my buddies and like two of the six. legends like, going, head legends head. going head to head. <laughs> yeah, and everybody, and obviously kids that age are just so young, stupid and naive. All the kids on the bus are like, yeah, they're yeah. swearing. That's sick. That's dude. really cool. And I was like, not actually listening to them talking about butt fucking each other. Like it's like just the funniest thing. <laughs> That's Speaking incredible. of music, dude, uh, I, I've seen those videos you do where you like review. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those yeah. So funny. That's you Thank and Robinson, you. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those are funny. Yeah, as what's fuck. that called for people? The Banger Report on YouTube. Yeah. Banger Report. Yeah, it is yeah, yeah. so awesome. Yeah, those dude. Kill. <laughs> just listening to these fucking hilarious rappers and going, "Oh yeah, that's sick." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah really you're gonna good. have to bring out All in the Family for uh, one of the Banger Reports. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, it's good. We 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 get a lot of videos like sent to us and sure, sure. It's inc- it's so like it's something that we're like obsessed with. Just like. Yeah. You know, and it's like if somebody sends us like a rap video that's like, trust me, this is really good. It's really bad. And it has 100,000 views. Yeah. We're like, no, nah, we don't want it. Yeah. yeah, yeah like we want it. like 400 views. <laughs> it was made 11 years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what Somebody I mean? posted it and forgot about it. And yeah. It's like just sitting there with 200 views. We're like, oh, yeah. Great. Well, I mean, th- that's the thing, too, that it's like maybe this is paranoid, but to like avoid because, you know. I used to do like Chris and I used to do rap together. Like yeah, 10, I remember that. You guys ago. also you were called RT, RATM. What was it? It wasn't Rage Poetic Machine. Justice. Oh, was it Poetic Justice? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, running so at the mouth is a running at the mouth. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. So we do that too. But um, so we used to do stuff, and it's just like that's one thing. It's like it's honestly my favorite character ever. Mm-hmm. That's like why we did that. It's like yeah. that guy who's thirty five, who's just like you know. If, if you're not supporting my shit, you know what I mean? And like, just, you know, it, it's yeah. like, and I, I, are my motivators, dog. Yeah. And I respect yeah. the hustle and stuff, yeah. but it's like, it's so funny, you know? Yeah. And it's like, make your music. But at the same time, like there's somebody being like, you know, one year from today, if right. I don't sell out the ACC, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, man, you know, like <laughs> be realistic. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's like those guys also too, like, there's times where it's like, they're also guys you don't want to fuck with. Yeah, for sure. So it's like, they're like like the funniest guys ever. Their raps Mm -hmm. suck, but it's also like, but they are serious dudes. Yeah. Yeah. They're like gangbangers that are just not good at rap. Yeah. Yeah. Which is so funny where it's like, yeah. Cause the thing is too, it's like rap is, it's music, which Mm -hmm. is like an art form. Sure. So it's like these guys who are like, you know, they belong to the streets and like, they're really hard dudes and stuff like that. It's really funny when you do shows with them Yeah. because like we have no shame in being like, yeah, like we're artists. Yeah. Like, I love the performing arts. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I've studied Shakespeare. Sure. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. we understand what it takes to have a good performance, yeah, and we don't yeah. have an ego that's like, whatever like trying to be too cool so we yeah. do those shows and they'd be like how the fuck do you do that yeah. and it's just like because you guys think art's gay yeah yeah exactly you know what I mean? and, and you're you go, taking yourself way too seriously exactly it's like because because now ti is doing stand-up comedy and right it's like, and it's that that yeah that hardcore like gangster mentality it just doesn't work because you got to be self-deprecating in a sense. right and they don't have that ability they're like no, no man i'm fucking sick and it's like yeah but people don't want to hear you talk about how sick you are exactly you know like and he's been getting mad at like other people who like other comedians, I think have talked shit on him on stage. No doubt. And How do you not? Uh, right. He's gone up and been like, "No, dude, I'm taking the mic." And yeah. it's like, "Oh man." Yeah, like you <laughs> want to play that, but it's like that's that's in rap. Yeah, but yeah. like in comedy, it's exactly. Like, it's a it's a whole different. They haven't figured out the persona because, like, yeah, in rap, that sells. That works to for be like, sure. "I'm the best." Fuck you, I'm the best. And then people are like, "Yeah, hell yeah, this guy rules." But yeah. in comedy, nobody wants to hear that because we are all. Every, when people are listening, they want to hear about how they can relate, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm a bag of shit too." Like, yeah. yeah. And if someone's super funny and says something funny about you and you go up and you're like, yo, you say that shit to me again, (laughs) I'm going to fucking fold you, bro. (laughs) You're like, yeah, "Yeah, dude, because you're not naturally funny. Yeah, 100%. Do you know what I mean? It's like, so if somebody's literally being funny and then you're just like, yo, don't fucking touch me. Don't lay another hand on me. You're like, yeah, man, you're not naturally fucking funny. You know what I mean? Big time. And it's funny. Yeah, just seeing those people completely miss the mark and be like, man, you don't ever do a roast. Yeah, exactly. Don't ever do a roast show. (laughs) Oh man, or seeing those people deal with hecklers is incredible yeah. sometimes. Oh, they get because like I get it. There's sometimes where a heckler is so like aggressive where mm-hmm. it's like, okay, like we're past comedy now, mm-hmm. where it's just straight up like, okay, like you're just a horrible person. You're ruining the yeah. show. The show's already ruined. You're yeah. hammered. And it's just like, yeah, you're a fucking loser. You need to shut the fuck up. You sure, know what I mean? Sure. And it's not funny, but most times you can make things funny. But there is some people who are just like, your stand up is just so pre written. Yeah. I know I want to do stand up. You're not actually funny. You're just like, you figured out how to get good at stand-up, and then you'll be in the middle like, yeah, so, you know, 
my mom, uh, one thing about my family, and somebody says something, and you're just like, hey, listen here, you fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah. You think this is fucking easy? I'd like <laughs> yeah. to see you do better. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, back into it. Like, so anyways, yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm a teacher. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You're like, okay. Yeah, like, you can rip off, but you got to find the funny in the moment. And also, like, a lot of the time, hecklers aren't malicious. Like, they think that they're adding to the show 100%. and they're doing, like, like, oh, if I yell this thing right now, it'll be funny to add to it. And it's like, and that's mm-hmm. fine. Make fun of that individual, but it never, because the audience is going to be like, this guy's crazy. To- totally. Psychotic. Yeah, and that's Why the only time. So angry? It's like most times, yeah, they're like, <laughs> it's easy because they think that they're adding to the show. They're easy to make fun of. But mm-hmm. there is like, and it's rare, but every now and then there is like a straight up malicious heckler. Sure, absolutely. That's just absolutely. hammered. And yeah. like, well, one, like in a small town that they're like, I was there drinking and I didn't know this show was going to happen. Yeah. And then they're just like, these guys are like losers. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And then you just like want to be like this aggressive guy. But then sometimes they show up to shows and then 10 minutes in, maybe somebody says something that like triggers them or 10 minutes in too, they're just like the alcohol hits them or whatever it is. They're like, I don't want to be here. Yeah. And they start just like being like, yeah, you're not funny. And then the second someone says something, they're like, say that fucking again. Yeah, yeah, have yeah, a yeah, ser- you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, ugh. all right. Yeah. Because that, I mean, it's like one of those things that is like statistically inevitable. Like some people are just malicious, mean drunks. And mm-hmm. then when that hits in a certain level and there's a guy that's like kind of maybe roasting them or they just don't find them funny. They have to let them know. And it's just like, dude, that's, if you don't find me funny, that's fine. Then just fuck off. Like yeah, you don't need to exactly. be here then. Yeah. And you can just leave. But then, yeah, that just alcohol, absolutely yeah. induced brain doesn't see the rationale or the logic and they go, fuck yeah. you. And or you go, oh, another man. one. This, this has happened to me a couple times. This might be the most malicious is it's the girl mm-hmm. being ridiculous, sure. being ridiculous. Just like, that's not funny. Why would that be funny? And it's just like the easiest target. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And after a little while, you're just like, all right. Like, you know what I mean? Let me explain to you. And like, I've had like right before the pandemic started, like two sets before it yeah. went down. Like there was, there was just this girl that was just so stupid, thought she was so hot. And she was just with like this classic, but yeah. the guy wasn't saying anything. He was just laughing. And then I just like went off like three comics in a row. She ruined their set. They sure. didn't even say anything. And then I went up, you know what I mean? And I was just like, uh, what's it called? I was like, okay, like I'm not a mind reader or anything like that, but I got a few guesses about you. I'm like, yeah. first things first, you work in real estate. And she was like, <laughs> yeah, how would you know that? I was like, cause every hot girl who has literally nothing going for themselves other than being slightly hot has no job other than real estate because it's just starting to clue in right now that yeah. I'm not going to be hot forever. Yeah. And maybe I should stop bartending. Is that on point? And she was like, just started getting like shaking. And then once the guy realized, like I offended his girlfriend, yeah. that's now he's he, got to pretend to care. That's where he's like, I'll throw yeah. you through that fucking window. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, they're like, yeah, the show's done. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, we're not going to get, like... We're not know, getting through this anymore yeah, until those guys are gone. No matter what. So either they get kicked out and then... But even when they get kicked out, it's not like, Still all right, we're energy. back to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you guys do remember the show Elf, right? Yeah. Because my nephew, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to naturally nonchalantly go back into your bids after, like, one of those cringy, weird moments where somebody's just... And you're like, oh, Yeah, fuck. it's it's but it's a skill and it's like, you would literally have to lean into, like, the funny and stuff. Yeah. I mean... I was listening to recordings from like three, four years ago. And there was one that I listened to the other day where I was at a show and the show was going really, really well. It was like a good, like fire show. I was going up last. And right when I got on stage, I was like, as I heard the recording, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. I looked in the audience and there was a girl like sitting with her boyfriend and she was just like, <laughs> just zombied. But like, not like that, like still making eye contact. Yeah. So it wasn't like she's going to pass out. It's like, she's going to puke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? She's fighting back a puke and like, every will. Yeah. Like I went on, I was talking, doing some crowd work for like 15, 30 seconds and like really hot crowds. So it was already going good. And yeah. then I was just like, yeah, she's going to puke, which got some laughs. And I was like, no, for real. Though. Yeah. Like, this girl's actually going to puke. So I was like, so I don't know. I'm like, you should probably get her out of here. And he's like, yeah. she's fine. And I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Continued on for like a minute and a half. And then she pukes everywhere. <laughs> and then like, I was listening to it for like five minutes. And it's so funny when you're in the zone yeah. that you're just like, yeah, like I pulled, all that matters is like, I pulled it off. Right. Yeah, yeah. But to come back to that three years later and listen to that five minutes, I'm like, man, like that's painful. Yeah. Big where time. I'm just like, cause like you go to like, start going into a joke and then people are like, Hey, make sure she's okay first. And this and that. And then somehow like, you know, but it's slow. Once yeah, she leaves, yeah. they clean up puke. I'm still on stage. <laughs> still to so you kind of have this. to like commentate it. Yeah. And then somehow sliding back into material, like listening to that, yeah. I was like, okay, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> if you can do it, like, cause like, oh, fuck, I, like, I hate, I hate dealing with hecklers and I hate the idea of that. Like that gives me so much anxiety. Right. I fucking hate dealing with a drunken mess of a human being that I'm like, yeah. 
It's I, brutal. Yeah, it's it's just so bad, and they just they do have a tendency to just really ruin a fucking. Oh, Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I was uh I was playing music after a comedy show, um, I think it was nothing fancy. Okay. And I roll up, and my friend is there with his mom, and she's from out of town. That's right. She's fucking shit hammered. So <laughs> right, she that's another the, one, dude. She caught the first set of comedians, and I kind of know a couple of the comics or whatever, and I'm like. Oh, yeah, how's it going? They're like, oh, there's this fucking lady out there who's hammered and just fucking up everybody's sets. Right. I'm like, oh, man, I hope that's not the table I'm going to end up yep. sitting with. And then they're like, eh, don't I'm like, <laughs> fuck. Oh, yeah. And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, uh, so I'm like, every now and then I'm like, you can't. You can't do this. You got like yeah, trying yeah, to be like stop. Mm-hmm. you got to fucking please stop. stop. Cuz it's not Cuz you're making the rest of us look fucked too. Well, yeah, that, it's a tough one. Yeah. Though. Uh, dude, it's just like Fuck, man, because it's especially because I think they've never really been to a comedy yeah. show, so they were like, they "Oh, I've the seen the hecklers. I'm gonna be the heckler." Yeah. And it was like, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. When your your blood, you like your your alcohol soaked brain, it loses that rationale and it thinks like, and I you think you're be being funny, funny too. Yeah, you think 100%. you're being. The amount of times I've even heard people be like, after somebody crushes on stage, and they'll go, "Oh, I could do that." And All like, the no, you fucking can't. All the time. It's you could do that if you dedicated years of your life to mastering it. Maybe I'd say if you're a naturally funny individual. I would say, like, let's. I'm being completely honest with this number. I would say 70 percent of the shows I do, someone says that. 100 percent, if not more. Every 70 percent is show. being generous. It's yeah, almost yeah. probably every show. Yeah, it's yeah. rare. Maybe I have to leave early, but if you stick yeah. around and people are like, "There's always somebody who's like, you know, I thought I'd be really good at that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, 100 percent. I get I get messages all the time too. People being like, "Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm thinking about trying comedy," and I'm like, "Yeah, man." Okay. But it's like do it. Yeah, go eat shit. Like yeah, go like eat it's shit. Like, just do it. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. It's it. Yeah, for sure. And then you know, and then they'll try and like run some jokes by you, but obviously you know, and you're like, I don't. It's like the guy at the party that's drunk that's trying to show you his freestyle rap. You're just right. like, yeah, don't do it. Please yeah. don't. Even if you are kind of good, this is an uncomfortable situation. But also, what happens a lot if you do it right? If you're like, I always thought I wanted to do stand up. What I say now is, I'm like, you should do it. But I'm like, you book the show, yeah. bring all your friends. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'll do it too. Yeah. 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 Right. Sure. Yeah. So then it's like, what happens? This has worked for me over 10 times where people are like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, go to this venue. I'll help them out. Mm-hmm. I'm like, make sure you bring all your friends. They're dying to see you. And then this, that somebody books a show with 30 of their friends. And then I'll be like, yeah, here's how much it costs for me to headline. I'll do 40 minutes. You mm-hmm. do 10. Yeah. Right. It's the best show. Cause That's, they go up for yeah, 10 yeah, yeah. minutes. It's their first time doing stand up. Their friends are all going to fucking lower their bar sure. to be like, yes, this is hilarious. Yeah, of course. Of and course. then you go on stage and, and it's <laughs> like, you just annihilate <laughs> yeah. and have 40 friends yeah, for yeah. life. You know, that's man. Honestly, kudos. I, I, maybe I'll start thinking about that. Kudos to the people that actually do where you go, okay, set up a show and they actually commit. Cause they most do, people yeah. are just talking. Like most people are like, I could do that. No, but then when it do. comes down to the workload, they don't have any interest. Right. Good for that person to be like, well, there is the guy at the bar who, you know, but then there's just like also sometimes like the go getter. Yeah, you can hear it yeah. in their voice. You're yeah. like, oh, you got 30 friends too. That'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. You got enough friends that we could actually fill this fucking room. And we make could it. do this yeah, for yeah, sure. 100%. You can tell. Yeah, that's awesome. Hold on, I'm just gonna fix this damn mic stand. Keep sliding down, yeah. on you, dude. Yeah, your mic stand sucks, Ed. It does. It, it's funny when you say the mom too, because that's such a classic predicament. Oh it's yeah. Like, uh, well, for yeah. you know, with like, but it's happened to. It'll happen with girls. Mm-hmm. It's happened to me too with like a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Like two years into the relationship and like coming to a show and then like her friends are heckling. Yeah. Where it's like. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Oh, no worries. When did it stop? It just stopped like probably 30 seconds ago. I okay, just yeah. want to check the camera real yeah, quick. Yeah, let me check the camera break. real quick. Here. You know what? Let's we'll get into right. We'll get into some freaking st- some stories. If you got okay. any. Okay. Scum. We still yeah, going? you're good. You're nice. still going. Nice. But like, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh it's definitely tough dealing with uh, family or friend hecklers. That but I just, but like, I've said too, where I'm like, I'll always like comedy over everything. Mm-hmm. Um, where like you know, like if I'm with a girl or I'm with someone's like aunt or I'm with like family and they start heckling, where I'll be like, I'll tell them to be quiet. But if not, like I'll be like, if they get kicked out, I'll be like, yeah, I'm staying. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I thought until like. I thought that years ago until like, and it's only happened twice to me, but like sometimes you'll go to a show, like my boy will run a roll, but it's like a hard dude. Mm-hmm. Like one of my friends who I know is like someone you shouldn't fuck around yeah, with. Yeah, and yeah. they're like, yo, I want to come to your comedy show, you know? Oh, yeah. And then you'll go there and then they start being like, you know, like to like comics or like your friend, like, yeah, yeah, yeah you're a pussy. You know what I yeah, mean? And yeah. they're like, right. And yeah. I'm just literally like such a pussy in that thing because yeah. I'm like, 
I don't want to, I don't even want to tell him to shut up. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I know that he's just 100%. a scary guy. You know what I mean? So I just have to be like, and people are like, "Yo, your fucking buddy just won't shut the fuck up." You're like, "Yeah, yeah my bad." You yeah, know what and mean? He's, like, and but he's one of those to, people that can't. You can't shut. The, I, I mean, yeah, I, you're like, I, I can't say anything to him. I, I had a fucking. Uh, I, I I ran a show back home, uh, and it was great. We had, we sold like 100, 120 tickets, and we we had booze and all. But there was one. I have one of those friends too that's just like a terrifying individual. And he dabbles in all sorts of drugs. So mm-hmm. it's like he's really like sometimes a loose cannon. And I had to like pre-talk to my buddies that I was bringing from T.O. to be like, yo, you can like, because they, they're comedians yeah, like, and they like to chirp this. and they like to fucking tease and make fun right. of anybody and everybody. And that's fine. Yeah. But I was like, this is the one person that won't find you funny. And I really don't want to have to pick up your teeth. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I was like, because he will sucker you. Like, yeah. he will go ballistic if you even come at him a little bit. Like, yeah. I was like he's got a real fragile ego in that sense. Like, so yeah. like don't fuck with that, dude. Yeah, it's always so It's always so funny to have to talk to comedians before going to him. Uh, not this And it's one. a tough one because it's like, well, then just don't invite him. And you're like, yeah, yeah I yeah, mean. But he's still my boy. But it's yeah, my boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I have more, to. It's not so simplistic. Like, you got you just been through shit. You know each other from certain things. And it's just yeah. like, even though you even grow apart, kind of, there's always like a part where that you always come back. And you're like, yeah. And he's trying to support. And you don't want to tell people to not come to your shows. But you're also like, maybe not you. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah, man. Uh, let's, uh, let's get into some of this. Uh, scumbag or scoundrel material you got a yeah. couple you got one or two stories for yeah me? i have some stories yeah hell yeah this is always one of my like go go to <laughs> stories is uh i think i've said it on a podcast or two or something like that but i, I say it on stage sometimes if i'm mm-hmm. doing a long set um but i'd be interested to hear if this is scumbag or scoundrel i don't know <laughs> is it you directly or is it oh, it's me that? directly oh, hell yeah that's, that's the directly. good shit we'll i mean look know. so like you know I, I, as a precursor to like any story that i'm gonna tell I haven't done cocaine in two and a half years. I yeah. probably never will again. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Me too. I'm, I'm like a year and a half clean. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm very confident that that'll never happen yeah. again. And I've been yeah. around it a lot. You sure. know what I mean? But I mean, for about eight or nine years before that, that was not the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what 100%, I mean? I definitely 100%. was going off. And it's it's a tough one to quit, but... yeah. Yeah, it's been like almost like nine hundred days now or something. Man, good for you. I, I know that it's it's definitely not a tough one, but it was like yeah, it's one of those tough ones that you got to look at yourself sometimes and be like, man, this really turns you into a fucking meathead oh, idiot for like, sure. You just become the worst yeah. version of yourself. Yeah, and just like for me, it's just like it takes away all fear. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, can we address this again? Yeah, hold on, let me just fix this real quick. Let's see, I think it's dripping down. One of those what? Oh, there's the old street car. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. No, I don't know where it is. <laughs> we might need a new mic stand. Oh fuck! I just. I don't care. Guitar, I don't care. You're good. I got plenty. I owe you, dude. No, you're good. You already gave me two. You're good. Oh, that is true, bro. Yeah. All right, that's probably good. Yeah. So I don't know where to tell this one uh, or where to start but once i get started i usually just <laughs> you find your way anytime i say it because that's the thing too with a lot of these stories is like which is kind of fun like there'll be certain like coke stories that like or like just stories like when like you know, i was like full degenerate just like mm-hmm. drinking and doing drugs all the time that like you know it's like i maybe told this story five times and every time you tell it like you'll be like oh yeah, yeah there's little new memories that pop yeah up. or then yeah. sometimes you forget that part yeah. from the first time you told yeah. it and this and that so yeah. it's just just you might as well just get the story started that's another <laughs> thing that happened to me too like not like this one but like other like little things not even the craziest stories but i don't know if this happened to you but at, like six months after not doing blow and like kind of like slowed down on drinking a little bit but now i still drink like mm-hmm. fucking crazy and stuff but <laughs> you know like i slowed down for like the first six months that's i went, a good I way. went 30 days without nice that was, that was how i Cut it. Exactly, yeah. and that's what you got to do because yeah. the drinking the, is like that's the that's the gateway drug every for time. sure. Some people they but for me big time. I mean like yeah. if I get hammered, I'm like oh yeah, I yeah. remind myself oh. how much. Coke well, especially when you've been drinking all day it. and you're kind of like uh, you're like you don't yeah. want to wake me up right now and then yeah, I could exactly. go forever. And then, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I remember like after like six months or so of being like sober from cocaine and drinking, yeah. it's like literally stories just like. Poof, start like yeah. it's like your brain was like we were protecting you yeah yeah and now that yeah. you're here like all of a sudden you're like oh yeah what fuck. the fuck a hundred percent like that's crazy yeah. i did that yeah. what the fuck and you go man i suck <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well the thing is too for me though it's like and it's still like this with alcohol but this is still something you have to watch but like with alcohol and coke like especially with the combo of the two that's why yeah. i can't do coke it's like 
people get like mean yeah. or aggressive or this, that. And still to this day, like when I drink and stuff, it's never been that case. It's the mm. opposite. Yeah. Very but like with devil. cocaine. Oh yeah. But like with cocaine, like that's brutal. There was times where like, I would like, so I'd be like booking shows. Right. And I remember like just blacking out doing blow one mm. night, like crazy. And that was like on a Monday and then Thursday came up and I went to go do my weekly show mm. and I was just like, oh yeah, who did I book this week? And I looked at the lineup and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it was clearly all just people that I ran into that I was just <laughs> like, yo, you're fucking hilarious. And they're like, I am. And you're like, you got to come do yeah. my show. And they're like, are yeah. you sure? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then classic cocaine thought of yeah. like, dude, it's fine. Nothing matters. Don't worry about it. Like hundred yeah. percent, you'll, you'll kill it. And, and getting messages the next day and being like, yo, last night was so fun. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Would love to take you up on that beer sometime. I'm free Thursday. And you're just yeah. like, I would never want to. <laughs> sit down one on one with this person. How the fuck? But when you're on cocaine, yeah. you're like, I love everybody. everybody. Always, you know? Yeah. And then you honestly have to like almost like you have these wild coke nights with someone the next day. They're like, Yeah, what are you saying Thursday? Yeah. You want to come to this? And it's like, no. you almost got to be like the one night stand. Like, hey, about last night, <laughs> karaoke. <laughs> Look, we had fun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I hope that's a bit. Like, oh my God, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you know, but it's like, but we, we, we got a life and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so here's one. So, I was in um, Sudbury, in a small town outside of Sudbury. I was doing a, a Christmas party, right? And like you were hosting a Christmas party, doing. I was comedy? headlining a Christmas headlining, party. Okay. So there was there was two people, uh, two other comics on the show, and there was two older like producer types. Mm -hmm. I've never seen this before, but there was like these like seven year old dudes that like booked us, yeah. and they came to the show with us, and. Their job was like, they're like, our job's just to get you here, make sure you do the show, and get you back safe. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And I I, I was full blown at this point. Oh, like, man. No Their job is a nightmare tonight. Yeah, like, no <laughs> fear. And, like, yeah. that was me. Like, this is, like, five years ago. And I was just full blown, just like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I just want to fucking do drugs. And like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And my shows would go well, too. Yeah. Like, you know, obviously, if I look back, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm drunk or I'm coked sure. out. But there's no denying that, like, the shows would go sure. well. Absolutely. You know? Obviously, now they're a little bit more, like... I'm more with it and that's yeah. a better way. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like the shows will go well, but it's like, I don't know if that should be your special. Yeah. If someone yeah, exactly. wants to watch like you do that 40 minutes, even though it went well, people would be like, this guy's slurring his words or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I'm forgetting things and stuff. Sure. So that, that was these guys job. So we went to this, uh, this Christmas party and the Christmas party was for, um, the people who run the smoke shops on reserves. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah. they were like, they're, they're a, pretty wild bunch. Yeah, no doubt already but they're pretty calm and stuff yeah. so they like let us eat first it was like pretty nice setup because mm -hmm. it's like their christmas party and there's this one girl and i don't do this a lot but at the time maybe like i was i don't know but there's this girl she had like the kind of like the sundress on it was like tight you could see like a thong through the dress <laughs> and like i was already like in it like yeah. into yeah, the no sauce doubt. and stuff and i remember just being like to my buddy i'm like fuck that girl <laughs> just, just the confidence <laughs> you know what i mean like 110 yeah. percent. Yeah. so i guess like maybe subtly like throughout the night like i was like giving her the eye and stuff over the next 20 minutes and then there was like this 80 year old like literally 80 like 80 year old like hypnotist and like he like was like trying to like hypnotize them and like it didn't work right oh so he's performing at the christmas party and he's trying to do hypnotist yeah. tricks and it's not yeah. working and it didn't work but then she kind of got hypnotized this is like one thing that like sometimes I, I always forget this part of the story and it's also like maybe not necessary but it's like it is so fucking weird yeah but like he like hypnotized her and then randomly was like this is so weird like i don't even know how this is legal but yeah, he was like yeah, yeah. just to he was like control another individual's brain yeah and then he was like is, is there somebody in the room if you could like something like if you you could hook like literally the guy's like 80 so i don't yeah. think the term he would use is hook, hook up, up but that's basically what he was but doing it was like that. if you could hook up with anybody in the room mm -hmm. and this girl like pointed at me so i was just Hell like yeah. you know and my boys were like yeah and i was like it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And I remember being like, I'm whatever. Sick. You know what I mean? It. I told you because I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I'm already yeah. ripping shots oh, yeah, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And also like for sure, frequent visits to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very important part of this story. <laughs> yeah, of you know what I mean? My keys were just covered in blow. Just, you know, every yeah. half an hour. Yeah. So I remember like even then, I remember she like looked over and pointed at me and my buddies were like, yo, that was the girl. And I remember being like, Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> but so then like i remember after that the comedy show started and like both my buddies were like doing 10 minutes and then she came up and we like started talking or whatever and uh i remember she was like so you're the headliner i was like yeah she's like does that mean you're good i'm like 
you'll see. You know I mean? like, <laughs> and I already knew this crowd. I was like, it's over. Like, watch, you know? Yeah. She's like, yeah, you think you're going to be funny? I'm like, yeah, I mean, I think you're going to want to stick around. You'll see. <laughs> so I did like 45 minutes. And it's like 45 minutes of filthy material. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like just everything. You know what I mean? Fucking yeah. eating ass, having sure. sex in the period and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Which still very much so my material today. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but like. But you had no filter on that. Yeah, right? yeah. Just like super <laughs> filthy stuff. And like, and it's killing. Yeah, Like they're loving it, you know? Of course. So then when I get off, she's like, yeah, you actually are like, you know, you're pretty funny and this and that. So we start talking and then like within like two minutes, I'm like, all right, let's get this thing started. Right. So I start like making out all types. <laughs> this sounds like bragging, but it's all a part of like the story. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm like, just like, I remember I lifted her up on the bar. Like I'm being yeah. aggressive. I yeah. don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So I'm like, you're going to come back to the hotel. No, we're going back to my boss's house first to the chiefs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. So like we're making out all types and this and that. And uh, I remember this one guy too. Everyone was kind of dressed up, but this guy was in a full suit wearing a fedora. <laughs> and he just kept looking at me. You know what oh, I mean? yeah, fedora. But I was like, whatever. Because yeah. I'm coked out. It's not a big deal. Yeah. So they're like, we're going back to the house. And uh, they're like, come with us. We have a shuttle bus. And I'm like, hm, bet. Lead the way, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? So I go to the shuttle bus, and the producer's like, no, 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 we'll drive you there. We'll drive you there. I'm like, no, there's a shuttle bus. Like, we'll drive you there. I'm like, no, 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 no. I refuse for them to yeah. drive me. Yeah. Like, no, okay. we really insist. We want to keep an eye on you, please. Let yeah. us drive you there. They're like, okay. So I get onto the shuttle bus, so I guess they follow us. Then we go into this house, and it's like a big house, right? And we go into the basement, and she's like, my boss has like a sauna in the bathroom. Do you want to see it? For sure, I want to see it, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we go um, into the bathroom and, like, you know, it's on right off the bat, you know, lifting up the dress. I'm trying yeah. to, like, go for things. You know what I mean? I'm being, like, the full on the guy and stuff like that. And it's, like, also sometimes, like, you're just so coked out that, like, you, your brain's not in connection with your 100%. body. That you're not, like, paying attention to what's happening. So yeah. you're just, like sit back on that sink and then she's like are you sure and you're like am i fucking sure and then you look down and your dick's like three dimes like, like, you know what i mean and you're like oh yeah because like i forgot about all the coke you yeah, know what i mean i forgot i had to get hard for this <laughs> you know so like yeah so you're just like oh fuck you know so then like yeah. it's like yeah i mean it's okay this that you know and then they knock on the door after like two minutes and they're like uh they're like, yeah, you guys, like, get out of here. What are you doing in there? Blah, blah, blah. So we walk out, right? These are the people that were, like, that producing like, the show. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. Like, the, 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 like her boss. Oh, her boss okay, house. okay. Sorry. And, like, yeah. all her work people are there, right? Yeah. So, like, I come out. And it was the guy with the fedora that knocked on the door, I too. love that. You know what I mean? Is I'm that her like, boss? Oh, sorry, no, boss? No, 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 no. It's not the boss. It was just some random dude that works there. Just, like, fedora and the suit. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm like, okay. So um, we come out of the bathroom. And then the producer's like, what happened in there? What happened? I'm like, you know what happened in there. You know what I mean? And then they're like, okay, well, do what you got to do. And then, like, we got to get you back safe. And I was like, well, I can't do what I had to do. And I'm just so open because I'm on coke. <laughs> yeah, because you don't care. <laughs> yeah. And these guys are older that I was just like, could, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't get hard. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, and I'm not going to tell them I was doing blow. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe because I had, a, I think I had a couple drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few shots. I don't know the whiskey dick, you know. Something maybe, yeah. maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just nervous. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's my first time. So one of the guys is like, "Yeah, I got something for you," and he gives me a pill, right? Oh hell yeah! Which I didn't know at the time was like best producers ever for sure. <laughs> but it was it was the hundred milligram Viagra pill. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what any of that means. So I I I mean, is that a lot? Yeah, like okay. recommended. It would be like 20 milligrams. Okay, all right. So those, because right. they were older guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they that's that what they need. They need that 100 mg. But even then, they sell the 100 mg, and it's like recommended that you break it up. Oh, so I don't know why dude. they sell it in, in the first place. Yeah, that's right? crazy. To, okay, all right. So I'm like, fuck it. So I just like take it, right? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I guess we just like kind of chill for like a little bit. Nothing really like crazy happens at the house or whatever. And then she's like, hey, I want you to come home with me, this, that. I'm like, okay, you know? And that's the biggest fucking mistake. Rule number one, and someone told me this before. Brian O'Gorman told me like yeah, a yeah. long time ago. He's like, when you start touring, it's like never take the king from his castle. Yeah. He's like, you can hook up with girls on the road, this, that, blah, blah, blah. He's like, bring them back to the hotel, yeah. this, that. He's like, never go back to the house. Never. That's good advice, ever. honestly. And it's like you, the amount of stories that you hear where you're just like, right, where it's just... Mm -hmm. It's unfamiliar territory. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And, then, and it's so like unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, at and that also house. too, it's like validly so like people yeah. can just like, oh, we're not like we're clashing now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we don't get along. And then she's like, yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah. And then you're just like, okay, 
you say something offensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, like, yeah. what? I didn't know that that was your stance. And they're like, you need to get out of my house. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, but I don't know how the, the bus is working yeah, in Saskatchewan. Yeah, how the fuck do I get out of here? This, that, right? Yeah. So I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm all coked out. So I, uh, I, I go back to her house, right? And we're like walking for like 15 minutes and less and less houses. And it gets to the point where it's like basically this cabin literally in the woods. Like we're in like the middle of nowhere. It's like Sudbury's small. We're in yeah. the, we're in a small town outside. Yeah, Sudbury, yeah, yeah. Right. You, yeah. So we go there, and I'm like, "Is this where you live? Like you live on your own?" She's like, "No, no, I have roommates, but like he won't care." You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, "Okay, like that's fine." And she's like, "Yeah, he'll probably be sleeping." And then I'm like, "Whatever, right?" And then we walk in, and this guy's giving me a dirty look, yeah. and it's the guy with the fedora. Oh, that's her roommate. That's her roommate. Oh, shit, dude. I'm like, oh my god, right? She's like, "Just go to my room. Just go to my room, right?" Yeah. So I come into her room and I just hear like, this guy better be out by 7 a.m. or I'm going to fucking kill him. I swear to God, he's yelling, blah, 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 screaming all this stuff. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she comes in and I'm like sitting in, in her yeah. bed. I just heard all of that. You know? I've heard everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, to her room, John yeah. Deere to the toes. <laughs> like literally everything. John Deere pillowcase. That is John awesome. Deere curtains. Hell yeah, dude. Like, you I've already heard of horse girls, but we got a tractor girl. That yeah, like nice, just dude. straight up, like just camel everything. Everything, right so, so we're a funny. small town so she comes down I'm like what the fuck was that she's like don't worry my brother's fine he just like this oh that. that's her brother. it was her brother oh dude you know what i mean and like when we were on the shuttle bus he was staring at me the whole time and like i fingered her on the shuttle bus <laughs> like there's no like I, I, you know what i mean like, yeah, yeah, yeah. i did not yeah, care no fucking film yeah <laughs> obviously this dude hates you you're <laughs> yeah. like staring at him he's got some door yeah like, it was like oh it was like you're at <laughs> Bar lifting his baby sister, <laughs> yeah, dude. And he just saw me do forty five minutes of like, you know what I mean? If yeah. girls ain't licking balls, drop them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate every fucking ounce of your being. You know? Yeah. So, so like he's there, he's yelling, blah blah. blah. She comes back out, they're screaming again. I'm so coked out. Here's another thing, you know what I mean? Zero fear. Yeah. When I'm on coke, and also too, just like, you know, I'm like, I don't have brothers. I only have sisters. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. in my, I remember thinking that. Something in my mind's like. I can relate to what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm not that guy. Yeah. And I yeah. just like walk out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, man, like you might have me wrong. And this guy gives me a look like you're not out here, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. Like, you're <laughs> not fucking fuck doing away this. from me. And it gets heated right off the bat. And I mean, this is one that took me like a week later being sober to really process what he said. But like my buddies were there too, the other two comics. Mm -hmm. And they oh, said, you all went out to this cabin? We no 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 no. This now it's just me, but they were at, at the boss's oh, house okay. after. Right? Oh, okay, okay. So when I left the boss's house, right? Um my buddies stayed around for another five minutes and they're like, Oh, I guess he's gone. Yeah. Cool, yeah. right? <laughs> and and my phone was dead. Of course. Of course, phone. yeah. Of course yeah. my phone's dead, yeah. right? So when I left, they said like five real sketchy dudes showed up and were asking about me. Yeah. So like there was a hit already planned out. It's like if I had been there five more minutes, yeah. like I would have just got the shit. Shit, down. absolutely. And and, and like and it, it could have been bad. You know what sure. I mean? Sure, could have been real bad. So and no one's gonna stop them, right? So yeah. like that happens. So now this guy's yelling at me, blah blah blah. We're like arguing. He gets out a golf club. He starts swinging the golf club. I remember like ducking the golf club. He's swinging a club at He's you. Swinging the club. Crazy dude. That's swinging awesome. the club. He puts the club down. Eventually, I kind of calm him down enough that he sits on the couch, right? And then I say something again. He gets mad. He reaches under the couch and pulls out a golf club. And I remember my exact reaction. I was like, another golf club. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ah, uh, here we go again. I was like, here Still we go. Still no fear because the cocaine's so no ripping fear. through your body. So this guy, like, this guy's like, he see me react like that. He yeah. goes, oh, yeah. He's like, another golf club? He's like, no, I got something for you. And I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, you know what I mean? He goes into it his, a seven wood? <laughs> goes into his room. And I'm like, I'm like, well, I know what's happening yeah. now. You know what I mean? This yeah. guy comes out. Ch -ch -ch Fully loaded, you know what I mean? Holds it in my face. Bro, I'm on so much coke that like m immediately going through my mind, it's just like, if I die, I die. I yeah. don't care. <laughs> also, I'm like, I'm 27. Yeah, this yeah, is a yeah. sick this way is to die. Right age this to is die. a perfect way to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hope you got the white lighter in you your know? pocket. You know, so yeah. I like look this guy in the eyes. I have an erection. You know what I mean? <laughs> so so like, you've, been fight, you've been dodging <laughs> golf clubs while hard as a rock. <laughs> the whole time you're that's arguing was, with Because that's yeah. what I was wondering when that was going to come back. I was like, when does yeah. the boner start? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. so I'm like, I look him, I remember looking him in the eyes and I was like, do it. And this guy, he got scared. Yeah. So what, what the fuck? Yeah, you out crazied me. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, you know what? You better be out of here by the morning. This, that. Yeah. Like, he just fumbled, yeah. you know, goes on the couch, like, lies down, and then we go to her room, right? 
then whatever everything goes down there's there's a bunch of details there too but i want to kiss and tell you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah like everything everything's good blah, blah blah and then you know you know we just like smash all night so after like five minutes of that we uh no i'm just joking it was like, <laughs> no, it was like, it was like, like i don't know whatever it was you yeah. know we like go for a little bit and then she's like she passes out right mm -hmm. and then when she passed out i remember being like all right well yeah it was like three in the morning and we had to leave at seven so mm -hmm. i'm like okay well i got four hours i'm sitting there and like immediately as she's like going to sleep i'm like i'm not gonna be able to sleep at all like yeah, I can just feel yeah. my, you know your heart's I palpitating out of your fucking bam, chest bam 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 oh that's right? the worst but then like i start getting in my head and start noticing that i'm like you know like i can't even feel half of my body you know and to the point where like i lift my hand and it's yeah, dropping yeah. i'm like uh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's not good. So I'm sitting there, I'm like tripping out about that. And it's just like the clock just goes like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and like yeah. all of a sudden it's just like, beep, 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 like, whoa. Like it felt like 10 minutes and it's like yeah. four hours later, right? Oh, damn. So I kind of can feel like my body like dragging, whatever. And then like we get up. As we're leaving too, he's still in the suit with the fedora, holding yeah. onto a golf club like this, yeah. asleep on his back <laughs> on the couch. I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so we get in the car and then she's like, hey, where am I taking you? I'm like, we're at the Days Inn. She's like, there's eight Days Inns yeah. in Sudbury. Oh, you know what I mean? Fuck. And I'm like, fuck. And then for some odd reason, just like I have a pretty photographic memory. I just remembered like just observing out the window, like the name of a restaurant in front of it for no reason. But right. like, thank God, your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of for course. Observing minds. I, I said just it. Saved you. She's like, I know where that is. Blah blah. blah drop me off. Once I showed up to the hotel, the old producers were literally in the lobby. They're like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had a gun in my face. Yeah. Like, what happened? I was like, uh, whatever. You don't want to know. Yeah. Yeah. So I came upstairs, and uh, my buddies were still sleeping in the hotel, like one of the rooms that I was supposed to be in. Yeah. They like woke up. I'm like, yeah, we got to leave in an hour. I was like, yeah, I was like, is there still vodka in here? You know? And like, yeah. So I'm just like, I start ripping shots. Yeah, like, yeah, did yeah. you hook up with that girl last night? I was like, oh yeah, yeah. They're like, was it funny? I'm like, I'm buddy. <laughs> <laughs> just wait. I'm like, I'll save it for the car. Yeah. 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 So we did like a five hour drive back to Toronto mm -hmm. and my buddy's like, oh yeah, you want me to drop you off? I'm like, you know what? Actually drop me off at a clinic that I know if you could, there's someone I need to see. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's like the walk-in clinic. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I go into the walk-in clinic. I say like exactly what's happening. And this guy's like, you need to be honest with me. Like, tell me exactly what you did. Yeah. I'm like, well, I was drinking and I, I was doing cocaine and he's like, that's it. And I was like, Oh yeah, and I guess I took like a Viagra pill, and he was like, "How big was it? This oh. that?" And I said that the Viagra was like a hundred milligrams, and he oh, goes, "Oh fuck!" You know, so let me put it to you like this: basically, what's happened right now? He's like, "You're 27. You've had a mild heart attack, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, like you know what yeah. I mean?" He's like, e essentially, he's like, e "You need to stop doing this, or you're going to die immediately." Yeah, yeah. you know. The Viagra was pretty cool, so I was like, I, I could see myself that I could see that pop it up again. Yeah, I could see myself doing <laughs> you know that. What I mean, again. like if I was like yeah. drinking hard or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then also cocaine, like I'm ready to die, so like whatever. Yeah. So he was just like, you got to stop, like you got to stop them. I was like, both. He's like, well, that or either or. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But he's like, I would recommend both. You're gonna sure. die. And yeah, it still took me till I was like halfway through 30 so it's like still like even something like that happened yeah. and there were still two more years of like war stuff yeah before being like all right i guess i'll stop cocaine <laughs> yeah 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 you know that's always the funny thing is like you hit because like yeah i od'd once too and then i kept doing it yeah for like two more three more years and i was like what the fuck? like because after that i remember because like i remember like in that moment being like i won't do it again i was like what if there's a god what I was happened like, Just i was like Oh, it was it was at a it was at a bachelor party in a cabin. Uh, we were camping, and it was like nine a.m. Right, you know, obviously all night. And I was like, and uh, what ended up happening? The reason why it happened was like, because I hooked everybody. Up. There was like fucking eighteen people. I got mm -hmm. people out. There was, I got like a full like ounce and a half out for everybody. Then we mm -hmm. kind of got shorted by like a, so. There was enough for two grams each, and that mm -hmm. was supposed to last us a couple nights. It didn't. And uh, right. and uh, so basically, they were like. We got short. I split it up. Everybody got their two Ds, but I was like kind of short. I I wasn't like left with very much. And I was mm -hmm. like, ah, fuck that sucks. And everybody was like, don't worry, we'll I'll hook you up. When you have eighteen people hooking you up all night with their like, here I'll chop mm -hmm. you some of mine, chop you some of mine. Like mm -hmm. I must have done like three Gs that night. Yeah. And I was like going to like bed uh -huh. at, at nine a.m. to like, and then I remember like laying there, and then the, of course the heart palpitations. But I was like, that's yeah. a natural part of the calm down. Yeah. Like that's like okay, as usual. It's a Tuesday. But then, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then I like, and then I look at my hand and I just see this. And I was like, uh oh, I can't even control that. I was yeah. like, oh fuck. I was like, that's not good. And I was yeah. like, oh shit. And then like I couldn't breathe for like 
hours and so i'm like i'm like walk, i'm like having a huge panic attack i'm like i'm yeah. like walking around, i'm trying to like stay awake there i'm like nodding off and then i tell my one buddy who like i trust and he's like holy fuck man he's like here you know i chug back some water and he was like go he's like go take a shower i took a cold shower for like three hours mm-hmm. and just just to keep me awake and i kept like fucking smoking my head off of like the shower wall and then like coming yeah. back too and i was like and then finally enough time progressed where i started kind of coming but but i lost control of my hand my left hand i remember right. that and i was like i can't it's just shaking yeah, and I couldn't move it, and I couldn't do it. I felt mm-hmm. like I felt like I was having a stroke. Yeah, it's it's fucked up. And then yeah, after that you go, oh man, never again. And then I was brain dead for like three days because I remember, dude, it was so fucked up. My right. buddy gave me a ride home, and he was like, you know, he's still like almost coming down. He's like kind of high still. He's got he's mm-hmm. one of those guys that can just do it forever and not mm-hmm. be affected by it. And he was like driving me, and he's like making jokes, and I shit you not. I remember hearing my voice out loud, and I was like, holy fuck, like I think I'm brain dead because he was like saying things. I was like, ha ha ha. Yeah, 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 man, for sure. <laughs> that was how I laughed at everything. <laughs> he's like, "What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you?" Like, he's like, blah, 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 blah. "And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, man." And I'm like, "Please just get me home. Like, stop talking to me and please just get me home. Like, so yeah. I can die in my bed." And then I got home and I like slept for like 14 hours straight. And then, uh, and then there was like two days where I was like, "Man, I don't know if I'm gonna get my head back." Yeah, that'll do it. That was the scariest part. Was like my brain doesn't work anymore. Yeah. And then obviously I naturally came back too. And I was like, and then yeah, I was like, never again. And then fucking two weeks roll by and i'm like hell yeah boys let's go yeah it's fucking crazy it's so stupid what we do to ourselves but but that's the number one too that like i don't know if you can relate to this that's like you know i've I've quit drinking for eight months once a year i stop drinking for like a month usually two two months a year like you know i mean i'll do that i I, I fucking love drinking like you know never gonna deny that cigarettes i've quit I love drinking and smoking, you know what yeah, I mean? But, like, yeah. I've quit cigarettes. Like, you know, I've quit cigarettes for a year here, for six months there, a bunch yeah. of times, right? Yeah. Like, two weeks into quitting cigarettes or three weeks into quitting cigarettes, you'll, like, smell it. And I'm like, yeah, I can't even I, dream. Like, fuck no. Yeah. Or you'll smell a beer after you haven't drank beer for, like, two months, and you're like, fuck no. Hearing people talk about, even when you were like, so there was about two grams each. Yeah. Like, I kind of started doing that math in my head. I immediately, I get the tingle where I'm like, fuck, that's a wicked time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm just like, I still, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh, when you were like, I know, when you were like two your grams head. each, immediately, this is what I thought, where I was like two grams each. And I immediately thought how like, I'm like, but people on Coke aren't stingy. And then I thought of the idea of like, you know, 18 people. And then you're in one room. You're like, Oh yeah, yeah the beers are in here, you know? And then yeah. you're like, should we do a line? You're like, Oh, I left mine out there. You're yeah. like, I got mine. Yeah. Right yeah, I got mine yeah. Like I immediately thought that yeah. and I just started tingling being like, yeah. that sounds awesome. <laughs> it was awesome up until I almost died. For that was sure. like hundred percent. Cause like I said, it was like, cause it was, it was like, I shit, you know, like every 10 minutes, somebody's like, yo, you want one? You want one? Like somebody yeah. knew. There's so and many people. Dude, so there's like, no yeah. saying no. And everybody's busting me up Hollies too. Like I'm not, yeah. we're not doing key bumps. Yeah. We got tables. We got, so they're fucking ripping these fat, fat and just one after yeah. another, after another. And the whole night I'm like, yeah, man, I'm fucking, I can't shut the fuck up. I must've been just the worst. But oh, obviously, man. you know, yeah. if everybody else is high, it's tolerable, but I can't be around people I'm blown out when I'm so Hell it's the fucking no. worst. People are so stupid. I was real bad. Real bad at talking a lot. Yeah. See, that's the things I have to remind myself too. It's like, I don't even think there's something in me that's like, you could have died. Like even, cause it's like, it really was so fun. Yeah. That like yeah, I, yeah. I, that my brain still doesn't process that where it's just like, man, that was dangerous. That was bad yeah. for me. Yeah. But I don't want to be annoying. And it's like, yeah, that's a major one where it's like, I would talk like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. And uh, and close talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, because like if you're like, all right, yeah. all right, like that's it's literally been ten minutes. You've been and then stuff too that you wake up the next day and you're like, I don't care about that. I don't know about that. Yeah. That somehow I'm like trying to say like you know Noah's Ark has this correlation towards yeah. like what's happened and you're like that, I have zero education <laughs> yeah. any yeah. of that. So the fact yeah. that like somehow my brain it was, just makes you talk such intolerable shit that insane. like you just like and, and just you just say things with such confidence that you're just not you don't know anything about. It's you're like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. And no, just no, no, obviously sure. the agreeing on business ideas. Yeah. And oh my God. This world. I have about 300 businesses going right now that never got, you know, got past the ground floor. Crazy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, man, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Yeah. And it's, it's one of those cliches that everybody says and jokes about, but it's one of those like cliches that is so hilariously accurate. Bus- businesses and brunches. Businesses and brunches. Are always. Never happen. And the amount of time. Yes. Yeah, so like, right, tomorrow, let's go for breakfast, brunch, whatever. You know, yeah, that's yeah, always, it's like, fuck. no, dude, we yeah, feel we like 
death tomorrow. It's never happened. Like, no way. I'm not 5 moving an inch. You guys never been here? No, no. It's sick. You're going to yeah, like it. Yeah, the way that like, they do this, yeah. you're like, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, you know, random people, are you guys coming for brunch? Where are you, where are you doing it? And it's like, we're doing <laughs> yeah. it tomorrow. Like, what? One, two? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure, we're all down. And then it's like, <laughs> dude, we went to bed at noon. Yeah, and then you wake up picking out rocks, and you're like, there's yeah. no way I'm going to that place right I was now. saying that to someone the other day, though. That's a huge thing that, like you'd have to have done blow to know. And like, I miss, did you ever have a real fucking bender that like your just nose like seals up? Mm -hmm. Like, and then you go and you're just like picking around at it, picking around and it's hard. And then you grab it and there's a long stream oh. of like hard snot and it feels like you're pulling it out of your brain. It's one of the yeah. great, have you yeah, ever done that? 100%. Where you like pull it and then it's like this like snake that's like this long and it's like just yeah. like Coke snot and yeah. you go like, and like you instantly can breathe, it's yeah. like this unreal feeling. It's just an unbelievable feeling. One of the worst things, man, I don't even know if I want to say it, but one time I I ate one of those. Oh, like fucking, for yeah, sure. Out. <laughs> I for was like, sure. I'm fucking numb up the mouth a little bit here. For <laughs> sure. A little boogie on your yeah, lip. Yeah, literally like I pulled it off. And I'm... Yeah, even like, man, that's another thing too that like, so I mean, some stuff that it's like, it's been two years, I'm alive, you know, so yeah. I can say certain things, but like, the backup toilet seats, the fucking, so you know, where the toilet paper comes out in yeah. brutal bathrooms. Absolutely. Just, yeah. Like dive bar fucking disgusting. Yeah. Haven't been washed in three years. Yeah. Like, and just like whatever. Just chop yeah. Most times I would chop it up on my phone. You know what I mean? That's the smarter way to do it. But yeah, the amount of dirty ass toilets that I, I've. That's like fine. But this is another one though, that this is like, <laughs> and this has only happened once or twice, but like, I think back on, this is stuff where I'm like, your brain covers it up. Mm-hmm. Which just makes sense. Like the next day, you don't think about this, and then it's like two years later, and you just have this visual image, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Mm -hmm. Or like, I remember, like, you know, being on coke, and like, I'd like rip a line off of my phone, right, and then I'd, I'd look beside and like where like the toilet paper dispenser is. There'd be a line lined up. Yeah, you know, that's not mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's someone yeah. left there, and I just be like, okay. "Okay," you know what I mean? That's insane. Yeah, that's a crazy thing to do. That's crazy. The amount of other people's lines that I have done, absolutely, and the, and the, whether it be at a house party, I'm busting up, and somebody has one there, and right. I go. I guess that one's mine now too. Like, it's just like such a, there's no gentleman rules to it. Like you no. just go, fuck it. It's in front of me. It's mine now. Like I'm taking yeah. it. Yeah. I did that once too with my buddy. I was so pissed. Like I dumped out, I just dumped out the baggie cause I was like, fuck it. And I was doing some Coke that night and I was like, yeah, man, if you want to go grab a line or whatever. And he comes back high as a kite and he goes, man, that was really generous. Thank you. I was like, what do you mean that I've was really that generous? Too, yeah. And he just fucking ripped all of my P5 in one go or whatever. And I was like, no dude, I was nursing that all night. I was like, are you kidding me? And he's yeah. like, Oh fuck! I was gonna say that's a huge line. I was like, "You piece of shit!" Yeah, that's I'm happened so to me. So fucking mad. That's, that's a scumbag. Right like, there, dude. Yeah, that's, that's a scumbag. scumbag. <laughs> yeah, Where I was you like, "Dude, because now too. I'm gonna come down in 20 minutes, and I'm not gonna have a way to feel good anymore. And it's only 11 at night, like, and I can't God, get dude. more. Yeah, I can't get more. Like, God damn it, you fucking idiot! Oh, don't worry, dude. I'll give you beers. I'm like, no, the beers aren't fun without it. Like, yeah. I was like, those are just gonna put me to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Can you do just blow though? Because I had to drink though too. There would be some times where like. Yeah, like no, I, I could be worried blow. about it. Yeah, I could do just blow because I used to my. Yeah, I don't think my parents will ever watch this. My so my dad was very like he's an intense dude. He mm -hmm. had very strict rules, very like by the book, like no fucking around. Right. And we lived out in butt fuck nowhere. Like mm -hmm. on, we didn't have neighbors for miles. So when I got my license, he would let me borrow the car. But his rule of thumb was to you could uh, you had to have the car home. Right. So if, in his mind, he was stopping me from drinking and doing stupid shit. It was like I had to have the car home. Right. That didn't stop me from drinking and driving all of the time. Right. But sometimes if I was going like a far distance, I'd be like, oh, fuck it. Okay, I'll just grab a gram of blow and just do that all night instead. Right, right. And that, that's what I used to do. And just like, or even worse, I would be hammered and I would just rip a line in the car to sober myself up for the drive home. It was insane. I was it like, just let me crash at a buddy's like, house. Like, I mean, th that is one too that's like fucked up to yeah. watch where people think that's just the movies and stuff. But it's like, it really does sober you up. Oh, 100%. In, in, in that crazy sense, crazy yeah. ways. you're still high in another regard, but you are way more sober than you were drunk. But two the drunk ago. thing, like, I, yeah. there's been times where, like, I've had friends and they're, like, just, like, yeah. fucked up and they're, like, puking on the yeah. toilet. They can't move. And then this is fucked up again. This is scumbag. I think yeah. this is scumbag, but it's like, you know, this would be like six years ago. I have, you know, one or two friends I can remember this. And they're like, you know, they can't talk. They're yeah. fucking alcohol poisoning level yeah, drunk yeah, you know yeah. what i mean and then you're just like holding up this like little spoon you know what i mean and you're like yo breathe in quick like inhale it cover your nose and they're like you know 
And literally 20 minutes later, like, they'll yeah. just, like, come out and they'll be like, yo, what's up? Like, you know? But they're <laughs> talking. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, is there still beers? Like, they're ready yeah. to drink again? Like, yeah. it really is that. It's crazy. In, 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 in its own weird, twisted, fucked up way, it's like a miracle drug in a sense. 100%. Like, the ability to do that is, like, to bring somebody from, like, death's door back to life in yeah. one snoot. Like, just, pfft, I'm back. It's I'm back, crazy. baby. Yeah. yeah. It's and so I mean, bizarre. Yeah, it's something, too, that, like, helps me, like, not do it, too, is to remind myself that I'm, like, it's 20% cocaine. Yeah, exactly. Anything, that, especially anything that comes across the North American border, like, it's going to be, well, there was a time, the glory days, where it was baking soda and shit. Now it's getting cut with fentanyl, which fucking sucks. But, like, Crazy, yeah, yeah, there was, like, it's, like, dude, just put baby laxatives and, and baking soda in it so I don't kill myself. That's yeah. all right. Make your money, cut your shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it was, like, yeah, now... Getting good Coke is almost unheard of. And I've only had it once and where where it tastes like nothing. Right. Yeah. And it just like and goes you can, in you and can you're still good. eat. You can still eat. You can still function as a person. I did it before yeah. a concert. My buddy pulled it out before a concert and I was like, No, I'm not I don't want to be jonesing in the concert all like bug trying to find you to like, right. like No 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 man, it's cool. I ripped one line, just a normal one. We went to the concert, didn't think about it once. I was having a great time. We yeah. went back to the hotel after a two hour show. Again, yeah. I wasn't jonesing the whole two hours. I did another line. And then I went home and I was in bed by about 1.32 a.m. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck was that? I was like, but I was also yeah. high as fuck and I had a great time. It was crazy. But it didn't taste like anything. It didn't feel like it was like breathing right. in air. Yeah. And I'd never ever had that before except that one time. And that's that what it is in Columbia apparently yeah. a whole bunch yeah. of stuff. That's why people can do it more often. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's weird. But anyways, uh, what do you think, Ed, with the, with this story? You think we think a scumbag or scoundrel? Oh, dog? dude, you're you're just a classic scoundrel, dude. That's what okay. I think too. I mean, I was, I mean, that's pretty yeah, funny. man. I mean, the guy pulled a gun on you. I think yeah. he's more of a scumbag. I, exactly, 100. Yeah. In my opinion, that's the scumbag move because, like, I understand because I can empathize with the situation of being annoyed and being like, but you know what? That's what happens when you live with your we party girl's sister. sister. Right. They're going to bring people home. You can't right. control their life. Mm -hmm. You know, That's not your daughter. That's not, you know, they're a grown adult ass woman. They're going to bring people over and sometimes mm -hmm. they're going to be on coke and sometimes they're going to be annoying to you. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, dude, that's just life, dude. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to pull out the gun and my dog Paul's going to stare you down <laughs> rock hard and go, rock I don't give a fuck, hard, dude. That's my favorite image, just fucking rock hard, go fucking do it. I'm the whole time you're arguing with him, too, he's just like, I'll fuck you up. And you're like, whatever, yeah, dude. Like, yeah, whatever, I don't give man. a fuck. I don't know fuck. if you can tell, but I've got plans with your sister in about <laughs> five minutes. Like, yeah. I'm going to fucking powder all night, dude, yeah, with my 100 milligram Viagra, just, bitch. <sighs> That's what they need to do. They need to just start cutting the cocaine with the Viagra. <laughs> That'll yeah. kill people money, quick. Dude. That'll kill people quick. But honestly, it's a good business plan to keep those boys hard. Go out yeah. in a blaze of glory, dude. The amount of times that that's happened where it's so stressful, eh? Where you're like, oh, the fucking absolute bombshell. And then you're like, oh, man. Oh, God. my God. God. Please work. <laughs> Please work. There was, there was one girl who I knew for like, uh, I knew for a while. And like, I always thought she was like, you know, she, she was good looking, blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't know she was looking at me like that or whatever. And then one night, you know, just I was into it, like doing fucking tons of yeah. blow, this, that. And, uh, yeah, I just become the most confident guy. And I remember, like, yeah, we just, like, started making out. And we were at my house, but we were in my buddy's room upstairs. Yeah. And, like, this is just such coke shit. We're, like, I'm the opposite of this. Like, now or anytime I'm not on coke. Sure, you know what I mean? Sure. I'm not like that. You know what I mean? Well, it just but made like, you such a different person. Like, you were literally so completely different person. Right. It's polar crazy. So I remember making out for, like, 30 seconds. And then I was just, like, kind of, like, looked at her. I was, like, meet me downstairs. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I went downstairs. And I was just, like, yeah, it's going down. Sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, waited for, like, a minute. And then she came into my room. And she was, like, you have no idea how many times I have masturbated to the thought of fucking you. And I remember just getting up and being like, yeah, well, now you get the real thing. <laughs> and then spent the next hour just like, I swear to God, I don't know. It's never. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I remember thinking oh. that, yeah, well, now you get the real thing. Like so pushing her confident. on the bed and then just being like, eh, I don't know. I think it's under the balls. <laughs> I swear it's there. <laughs> Dude, do you think she ever masturbated to you ever again? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking flicking me into a soft ass. Oh, it was yeah. so soft. It was you so girls true. wouldn't believe it. Yeah, trying to gummy worm your way in, being like, come on, please. Like, that's yeah. always the game plan. We're like, maybe if I just, like, if I can yeah. get it in, it'll make itself hard inside there. That like, is come the on. Most Dude, you needed to yeah. take a little bump of coke and put it right yeah. under and go, sniff in, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Time to wake up. Time to wake the fuck up. Yeah. 
Oh fuck, that is actually so fucking funny. Where you yeah. just like it's because it gives you that confidence, and then mm-hmm. it's almost playing tricks on you. Eh? It gives you that wild amount of confidence, but then it fucks with you in the bedroom where it goes. Like, yeah, but now you're not gonna be able to. You're gonna have all the confidence to take yeah. down any girl in the world, but also you can't. You can't. And I mean, <laughs> alcohol you. is like that a lot yeah. too, right? Yeah, if, I mean, if you're hitting the liquor hard for sure, but not to the same extent. Like I'm usually okay when drunk, but the se- the second cocaine hits that body, I'm like, uh, uh-uh. give me a second. Just yeah. Give me a second. Just give oh me a man, I got a good one. Fuck, just based on that. Because somebody once told me, and I never dropped this. Somebody was like, man, if you're ever too high on coke, though, the best way to sober up is to fucking bust a nut, right? Yeah, 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 100%. I was in Los Angeles, uh, like fucking, this is a couple years ago, and we were doing a lot of blow, right? And I was up all night. It's probably 10 a.m. Everyone's like, hey, we should probably go to sleep. And I'm like peak coked out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I know what to do. And I mean, this was... Almost every time I would do blow, I would still just like furiously try and jerk off. Like, you know what I mean? Because like it is still like it's like your brain's still so horny. A hundred percent. If you can just bust a nut, you become way more rational again. Yeah. yeah like, right. Okay, okay. Okay. I got it. Out so of my it's system. like all right. Well, it's like the rational thing to do. Like I just have to, uh, you know. So I remember just going in there and I'm coke the fuck out and I'm trying everything to jerk off, trying everything, 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 and I. Time just flies. It's probably yeah. forty five minutes to an hour. <laughs> I remember people knocking and being like, "Like, yo, can I use the bathroom?" I'm like, my stomach. "No, I'm trying to jerk <laughs> off." Like my stomach hurts. You know? <laughs> I'm trying to jerk off my soft dick. Yeah, and I'm off. not fully hard. And yeah. I'm trying everything right. And then I remember, like, I somehow managed to like bust like soft. Yeah. And just a little piddler. Yeah, just a little <laughs> piddler exactly. Right? Oh yeah. So I get like the toilet paper right, and I'm like cleaning up, and I remember just seeing so much blood. Right? And I'm like, what the fuck? Just like, don't really think about it because I'm like coked out. So I'm like, yeah. whatever. Again, and then, the classic don't give a shit. Whatever. Yeah. So then I go to uh, I go to bed. I'm like, I got to sleep for like an hour or two. Right? Yeah. Go to sleep for like an hour or two. The next day we go to like Universal Studios. And like, I just like wake up and like, I don't even think like I went, like took a piss, nothing. You know what I mean? I got up like, yo, we're going now. Like, yeah. okay. <laughs> got up. <laughs> this, that. Then, like, it was, like, we were, like, sitting down for, like, lunch with our buddy. Yeah. And we were, like, eating. And, like, kind of just started coming back to me. And I'm, like, no, nah, there's no way. Like, that can't be, you know? And I was, like, yeah, I got to go pee. I go to the bathroom. And, like, oh, man. Yeah. It's bad. It's, like, clearly, like, I ripped my dick up. Oh, you tugged her into you oblivion, what I mean? dude. Like, what it the was hell? Ba- there was just, like, car- like, like, carpet burn. The equivalent. You know what oh, I mean? I'm, like, so what? crazy that you saw blood and you were, like... <sighs> Yeah, whatever. I was like, what the fuck? And it fuck. took like a good like week or so to heal. Like of not course. that bad, but it's still Damn. like. You must have been the... just yanking on yeah, it, it too. Yeah, like... you got the coke fucking grip. <laughs> and you're like, and just just like... trying so hard. And then even then, you, you keep doing blow. Yeah, like I yeah, did yeah. blow that night. I know. It's insane how you it's go, like, what well, that fuck? sucks. That really makes me an idiot. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, yeah. you're like, well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yanked it into oblivion. He said. Yeah, that's so <laughs> fucking funny. You yanked it into. I can oblivion. honestly say, like, I've, I've, the whole story. I was like, yeah, yeah, I've been there. I, I haven't been there. Thank God. That I was the only time with the blood. Yeah. That's, so like, that's that's fucked up. Yeah. Did you? So did you ever hook up with a girl while it was in healing process? <laughs> so did anybody see it? Yeah. So what happened? <laughs> what happened was I was <laughs> put some polysporin so on my pants. I was supposed. <laughs> Yes. I was supposed to hook up with a girl yeah. like a week later <laughs> and I went to the doctor and the doctor was just like, I mean, yeah, like, I don't know what this could be. And I'm like, no, I know what it is. I, like, what I did it. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did this to myself. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this isn't a disease. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm just saying. And he was just like, yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, I've never <laughs> seen this in the yeah, 40 he was like, years. He was, like, he was like, don't have sex. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm here for. I was yeah. like, even if I put a condom on, he's like, absolutely not. Yeah. 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 Do oh, not open do wound. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, God. So he's like, he's like, you need to take a two week break. Yeah. So a week later, I remember this girl started sending me nudes and uh, she's like sending nudes. And then she was like, yeah, like, you like that? Is it turning you on? I'm like, yeah. She's like, show me. I'm like, oh. no. <laughs> you know Go I mean? on to Google hot big dicks. But, but, <laughs> but I, I paint, right? Yeah. So like, <laughs> I, I was like, like I paint and she was like, she, she told me at the start, I really was painting. Like, what are you yeah. doing? I'm painting. She's like, oh, maybe I can distract you, blah, 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 blah. So as the things are coming in and then she's like asking me to send dick pics and yeah. stuff like that, I was hard. So I was just like, damn, you're really making it hard to focus. So I'd like take the paintbrush <laughs> and like cover up where the scabs are. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's so that funny. is awesome. The artistic paintbrush being brought in. Just yeah, like, I'm just artsy. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, I got a little paint on yeah. it. Yeah, Ooh. like I literally did put a little bit of paint. Yeah. Where I was just like, oh man, so hard to focus. That is. I'm just like, I'm like painting over things and stuff. Just like, you know, like whatever. That's such a fucking funny, like, that's just like male brain 101 where sex drives everything. Where we're like, we literally, even in the event of having a ripped up cock, (laughs) we will find a way to sex with you. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like, yeah, just like the rationale is all going to go, fuck, I got, all right, where's my paintbrush? I got to cover this up. (laughs) Yeah. I'll get some props and we'll make this happen. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we will figure it out. We'll cover up the fucking Uh, stuff. That is so fucking funny, actually. Yeah. That's some wild shit. Yeah. Oh, man, what a fucking great episode. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on, man. This yeah, has dude. been amazing. I uh, Again, what... What a great episode back. First of all, what a great way to start this back, man. I'm, I'm really, thank you so much for coming out, man. Thank Absolute you. pleasure to have you. Uh, it's funny to talk to another uh, fellow individual who's been through just like the, like just the biggest stupid piece of shit brain. I mean, that's the thing the though at the end of the day shit. is like with the Coke stuff where now it's been two and a half years where I know I can solidly say that. It's yeah. like you, t- when I retell stories like that and stuff, I'm like, you did it. Yeah. We all did it. Like, yeah, but it's like, you don't need more of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 100%, Trust me. You, it's done. You, you put, you put, Push the pedal to the floor. Yeah. All good now. Yeah, 100%. You know? That's kind of the way I feel. Where it's like, I, the older I get, the more simple of a life I want to live. Where mm-hmm. I'm like, man. And also, like, I just have like a thing where, like, I just want to be a good dude now. Like, 100%. I'm so sick of being, like, just a fucking maggoty fucking gross. Yeah, piece having of guilt. Shit. Yeah, like the constant anxiety and guilt. I was like, nah, you know what, man? I'm good with just having a couple light beers and hanging out with some buddies and yeah. not fucking going into that lifestyle anymore. Because mm-hmm. it's just nonstop, just anxiety and you just feel like shit all the hangovers are a fucking nightmare like brutal yeah um also yeah like i I gotta agree with ed scoundrel 101 i mean all these things are hilarious and it's just like what a situation to put yourself into that's so fucking funny i've been in some wild ones but i ain't never been had a golf club swung at me that's funny as hell just hard as a rock that imagery is great you just you dodging and ducking and weaving with a boner (laughs) 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 oh man Oh, also, what are your socials? Yeah, we can follow this guy on it, uh, on everything. You're fucking yeah. hilarious. You keep a. Uh, I imagine you would pro- post where your shows are. We're going to be on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. yeah. I'm uh, Paul Thompson Comedy on Instagram. Yeah, and then uh, I'm, I paint too. Like as I mentioned, yeah, in the yeah, yeah. Story. So like, yeah, yeah, you maybe get some dick pics with the paintbrush. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that that Instagram is Paul Thompson Fine Art, and that's awesome. a website too, Paul Thompson Fine Art. Great. Com. Yeah, well, and we'll link all, all when we release it. Yeah, we'll, we'll link, link all the stuff sick. at the bottom as well. So sick, yeah, sick, yeah. Sick, sick. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks again so much for having us. And thank fuck you. Yeah, going back yeah, or scoundrels dude. back, baby. We're back. Hey, be good to your birds out there. Yeah, be we'll good to your birds. Don't yank it for an hour straight.